intention of the Public Order Act in 1986 was to stop people being so scared to leave their home because of the level of violence and intimidation they're receiving, particularly in, in parts of the country where they're ethnic minorities. But what's actually ended up happening with public order legislation is that the wording so ambiguous already, even before this bill, yeah. that everyday speech is being caught by the police. And usually it's a, a kind of particular political agenda um, where people are saying the speech you're, you're expressing is unacceptable or offensive to other people in the community. And, and it's all a hot topics that should be free for debate, right? Yeah. Uh, in a democratic society that of course get caught by this controversy by police officers. So yeah. in practice under the Public Order Act, they're still arresting people for insulting others, even though the law technically says they shouldn't. It should be abusive language. But the problem is the word abusive is so um, ambiguous that right. police officers who are trained in all sorts of in all sorts of ways to deal with non-hate crime incidents, for example, take that disposition with that law into the way they police using those powers. And so someone's really offended in the street and says they're distressed from um, what street preachers said, which is the most common example I've come across. Right. And that street preacher is going to get arrested regardless of the objective evidence of them having said anything really threatening or abusive in any reasonable sense of the term. Uh, so that the law is already bad, despite the good intent behind it. 